Hi all, welcome to another working session of Silico. I'm Shali Nerala. In our today's session, we'll see how to upload bulk data from a CSV file into Salesforce application. Right? So let's get started. Let's log in into Silico. So this is your home page. And so considering the use case, say I for example, I have this particular CSV file. So I have these fields, name, type, account number, and industry. So I have around 10 records. And all these have to be loaded into Salesforce. So in Salesforce, currently, you do not see any records here. Right? So this data have to be loaded. So for which, you will need to go into data loader under tools. So let me name this as Salesforce bulk data load and I'll configure the data loader we are I'll say this as Salesforce bulk load export and the file type is CSV file and we'll have to choose the file account load and you need to provide the uh, column delimiter which is comma the file has header right so let's now preview this so this is the previewed data and here you have options to group sort the records and further options like page size file encoding etc so for now i'll just save and close this so our source is ready now let's set up the target. So here I'm going to select Salesforce and I'll select the connection. So just say next and I'll give the name for this Salesforce bulk load import. And one too many no. So the Salesforce API type recommended soap and the object type I'll select account and I'm going to insert the data, right? So then save. So now we have configured the source and the target. What we now have to do is we need to do the mapping. So for mapping, let's select this and say edit mapping. So here you can provide the source record and give the mapping. So here account number, so I'll just account number here then industry so it's a direct mapping industry here and name account name type should be type here account type right so here uh, as you know like if you're looking for any complex mapping, you can provide them using this, right? So this is one-to-one -one mapping, what we have done, and we can preview the data here, right? So save and close. So that uh, now that our so now that our integration is ready, let's execute this flow. The starting point is always the export, which gets the data from the source and import what the data into the target. So we see both of them successfully completed. So let's now see if we have data in Salesforce. I'll go here and say go. And here you can see account one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have all the records loaded into Salesforce. So that's how we load bulk data into an application. Right. So that's the end of our session. Thank you.